Hello YouTubers and welcome to a new video of Arepas for Dinner. So, for the ones who don't know me, my name is Andrea and I do What's for Dinners and vlogs. In today's video, I bring you some new recipes that I've tried this week, as well as one Venezuelan recipe. Finally, I made Arepas for Dinner. But this is my twist on Arepas. Stay tuned till the end of the video so you can watch them. And first of all, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe right now. And if you like it, like this video. I really, really appreciate when you guys show me that you like the video. For me, it's super, super important. I do this just for the sake of doing it. It's just a hobby and I love when you guys like it. Also, I, I just screw so many times this intro that you might want to stay until the end of the video for all the bloopers that I made because, wow, I was completely out of tune today. <laughs> so that's it, let's start with the video. Taco wraps, you will need two pounds or one kilo of burger meat, one pack of taco seasoning, two tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, salsa dip, tortilla wraps. First step, start by browning the meat in a saucepan. Then, we will add the taco seasoning package following the instructions for adding water. Remember that if you're in Czech Republic like me, ground beef comes slightly salted, so be aware of that when seasoning it. For example, I used the package seasoning intended for one pound on the two pound meat that I bought. That way, I prevented it from being salty. For our toppings, I am using tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese. Place everything in bowls for convenience. I'm using mozzarella cheese because if you saw my latest grocery haul and meat prep video, I bought two kilos of mozzarella, so that's all the cheese we're having. My tip for making the tortillas nice and soft is just to pop them in the microwave for 30 seconds fully covered. Now, we just need to serve. I love to do it buffet style. That's how my mom does it and that way everyone can add more or less of everything. Enjoy! On Tuesday, we had stewed chicken. This is my favorite crockpot recipe it's so simple and it's almost a dump and go. You will need chicken thighs, one small can of diced tomatoes, one bell pepper, one small onion, two garlic cloves, two potatoes, salt and pepper, one teaspoon of cumin, splash of wine. First of all, I'm gonna give you my tip for defrosting chicken. If you watch my grocery haul, I'll leave a link down at the end of this video and down below as well, you know how I store chicken in my freezer. So, to defrost it, I just close my sink and fill it up with hot water and there I can place my Ziploc bag with the frozen chicken. And in less than one hour, it will be completely defrost. I do this especially during winter time. So let's start by slicing our onion and pepper. Then, we will peel our garlic and slice it as well. I'm adding some extra virgin olive oil to our crock pot and putting the chicken thighs. Now, we will add our veggies in. And the can of diced tomatoes. Some salt and pepper and some cumin. Add the splash of wine and mix it all well before covering it. Cook it in high for six hours. Two hours before the meal is ready, we will dice our potatoes and add them in. This is one of the meals that I'm always coming back to. It's so delicious and so easy to make. Enjoy! On Wednesday, we had steak. You will need flank steak, one small onion, one teaspoon of butter, green beans, chicken stock cube, salt and pepper, garlic clove, and olive oil. The first step is to add our frozen green beans to a pot. Add some water in a chicken stock cube and cook it all together, cover until the entire meal is ready. 
slice your onion and crush your garlic. I'm not going to be adding the garlic to the dish, that's why I'm only crushing it. On a frying pan, add some extra virgin olive oil. As you might have guessed, I only cook with extra virgin olive oil. I really like the taste and it's supposed to be healthier for you. And we will saute our onions with a bit of salt so they can sweat and caramelize faster. While the onions cook, let's season our steak using salt and pepper. Back to our onions. I'm going to be adding now a bit of butter for extra rich flavor. Place your onions aside. In the same pan, let's get it very, very hot and place there our smashed garlic loaf to infuse the oil. And add your steaks. Serve and enjoy. I use the remaining potatoes from yesterday's stew's chicken as my carbs. Okay, this recipe of chicken wings was by far the best chicken wings I ever had. Since the two main ingredients will be hard to find in Europe, I'll have two lists of ingredients, the American ones and the European ones. For the American ingredients, you will need, for the marinade, chicken wings, one and a half tablespoons of ranch seasoning, one tablespoon of Creole seasoning, the juice of one lemon. For the sides, you will need carrots, potato, salt, butter, and ranch. And for the sauce, you will need four tablespoons of barbecue sauce, four tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of Creole seasoning, and one tablespoon of spicy sauce. For the non-American ingredients, you will need, for the marinade, chicken wings, a pinch of dried parsley, garlic powder, onion powder, ground black pepper, and salt. Half a tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and the juice of one lemon. For the sides, you will need carrots, potato, salt, butter, and salad dressing. And for the sauce, you will need four tablespoons of barbecue sauce, four tablespoons of honey, half tablespoon of spicy paprika, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of a spicy sauce. So the first step is to mix all the marinade ingredients of the robin together. With these, we will marinate the chicken. Add it to the bag and mix it well. Leave it to rest from the morning until cooking time. I wanted to share with you guys how I use my Ziploc. I am aware of the contamination of plastic, therefore I reuse my Ziploc. I just wash them very well, as you can see, and just leave them to dry overnight. I only trash them if they break. So back to our chicken. I'm preheating my oven to 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit and placing some aluminum foil on top of the oven tray and just below my oven rack. The chicken needs to be cooked on the rack for extra crispiness and will cook for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll chop our carrots. I love to use carrots and dressing as a side. That and celery sticks are the best wing sides. For dressing, I'm gonna be using some ranch, but you can use any salad dressing that you would like. For this side, I'm using my mom's microwave potatoes recipe. It's super simple. You just need to poke your potato with a fork after that, you will coat it fully with butter and add loads and loads of salt to create a crust. And it will cook in the microwave until tender. For this big potato, it took about six minutes. If you're a Wings fan like myself, you know Wings need to be toast in the sauce for the best outcome. For this sauce, we are gonna be using one part barbecue sauce, one part honey, one tablespoon of Creole seasoning, or the mix of a spicy paprika, garlic powder, and salt. One spoon of a spicy sauce. This one was homemade and I can leave you the link down below as well as at the end of the video so you can check that recipe. Now our wings are ready and I'll let them cool down for about 10 minutes and we'll coat them 100% with the sauce. So let's serve. I'm cutting the potatoes in quarters so it can cool down a bit. 
The skin is so crunchy and the inside soft and perfect. This was by far the best meal of the week. Enjoy! Finally, arepas for dinner. <laughs> this is my arepa with a twist. You will need three quarter cup of pan flour, one quarter of a cup of flour for cachapas, one cup of water, one sweet ají, that's not mandatory, and two tablespoons of chicharrones. I'll leave the original voice on parts of this video because I explained it quite good. So today we're gonna make some special arepas that are gonna taste exactly like arepa de maíz pilado. For that we, we need some harina pan. You can find that in any Walmart pretty much. And if you're in Europe, I believe Carrefour has all these products as well. And in Czech Republic, I'm gonna leave a link down below to where you can find this one. And the other thing you're gonna need that you actually find in the same exact places is this one is the arena pan but the ready cachapa corn dough this one is a little bit sweeter you can actually replace this one by half a can of sweet corn that will do the trick as well but you will have to mix it and everything so this one is quite easier I'm gonna show you now how to go ahead I'm also using this this is un ají Ahis are um, like a, it looks like a tiny bell pepper, but it has tons of flavor. So if you don't have these because you cannot find it, you're not in Venezuela, you're not in South America, simply don't add it. It's just like an added flavor that we really, really like. We have a plant here at home, so I grow my own ahis at home because they're impossible to find here in Prague. So I am advantage in that matter. And we are also going to be adding some chicharrones. These ones are Czech chicharrones. That means that they're pretty much like uh, crunchy fat, but they don't have much skin like the ones that we use in Latin America, but that will do. This one's came from a zabiachka or like the killing of the pig that my friends did. And I'm gonna use that. For adding some oil to the pan when cooking the arepas, I'm gonna use lard. I have this one, same for the zabiachka. It's just to add flavor, you can use normal oil. Add the flour to a mixing bowl. Be precise in your measurements because otherwise it will be hard to form the arepas. Add the pinch of salt. Now, I'm chopping the ají that I will add to the dough. Ají is not spicy. Now, on a grinder, I will grind my chicharrones. You can do that in the food processor if you want. I added them to the cup of water that I will add to the dough. Add the water and start mixing it with your hands. Oh. And just a comment, I do recycle these plastic gloves as well. Once it has this consistency, we can roll two bowls. And we will form the arepas like this with our hands. Okay, so then again, we start using our hands to flatten our arepita. As I said, we're only gonna make two because it's only Hubby and I. If you're more, you make more. You do you, boo. Make sure this one is it's a little bit more flattening. Nice. Set your oven to 220 Celsius or 430 Fahrenheit. In a cast iron pan, we will add some fat. You can use oil, I'm using lard. You are supposed to use abudare, but I don't have one, so I just sear them in the cast iron and bake them in some aluminum foil. In about four minutes, you will flip it. Please. Nice, that's nice. That chard is super desirable in an arepa. It's like, for some people it might look like, oh no, you burn it, oh. No, actually for us, that's how it should be. Once they're seared in both sides, I'll place them in the aluminum foil and bake them for about 20 minutes. And there they are. We're supposed to eat them with cheese, diablito, butter, ham, Chicken, beef, whatever you want. They're just like little breads that you can eat with absolutely everything. And they're delicious. Enjoy! So that was it guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want the recipe for the hot sauce that I use in the um, chicken wings. I'm just gonna leave it here or here. I'm not sure where it's gonna pop. I'm also gonna leave it uh, in the description box. I'll see you next Tuesday with a new vlog or grocery haul. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Ah, I 
even forgot the buy. No. This changing light is driving me crazy, but doesn't matter. It will come and go, come and go. It's how it is. And I'm gonna be a complete ghost in three, two, one. Ah! This is terrible. I'm gonna wait for the cloud. It's always cloudy, but when I want to record and I need it to be cloudy, it's sunny. It's like no clouds today. Oh, this angers me so much. Okay, no, won't be using this either. Oh, why? I literally have nowhere else to record this intro. Oh, there's light everywhere. God. Well, I can't record this. Anywhere. This sucks. Oh, hello. This is horrible. I hate it. No. Um. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. It's enough. Am I even in focus? I don't know. And I'm no, no, no. Zero. Ugh.